people that are non-Jewish, when they're reading the Bible, they say, well, is all of this for us? Do we have to do all these stipulations, commandments, statutes, ordinances, and precepts, and everything like that? Well, Yeshua came along and said, think not. I came to destroy the law of the prophets. Till heaven and earth will pass through, not one jot of tittle. I'm not going to touch, change one thing. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word of Elohim. So you go back to the Torah, to the very beginning, and you find out that he, he says in the beginning that he will, uh, this is forever. And he says the same law for the stranger, and Gentiles really got some strange customs, they're really strange. Same law for the stranger as one born in the land. So man does not live by bread alone, but by every word. The, all the worlds are held, are, are consist by the word of Elohim, God. It, it holds you together. And if you want to hold it together when everything's going crazy in these last days and the tribulation is upon you and all these things, you got to stick with the word because everything's held together and the scripture cannot be broken. The, your body, the skeleton frame of your body is your skeleton frame. Your body's framed by your bones. Well, the worlds were framed by the word of Elohim, Yeshua. And he was a perfect person. And yet, the Romans beat him beyond recognition. You couldn't even recognize him after they beat him. But not one bone was broken because the scripture cannot be broken. No matter how much the Romans change it and change the Sabbath to the day of the sun and erase the second commandment, don't make any statues and have statues all over the place. No matter, they're thinking, you see, but they're vain thoughts. The thought of uh, wickedness is sin, the Bible says. In other words, they think of going against the Torah. And the New Testament said, sin is transgression of the Torah. And the, and, and the soul that sins shall surely die, but Satan from the very beginning says, Thou shalt not surely die. Go ahead and transgress the Torah. You don't have to keep Torah. You're a Gentile. You, you, you've been saved by grace. Faith without works is dead. Works without faith is dead. You can't have one without the other. If you believe, you're going to do. Not being not forgetful hearers, but doers of the work. That's W-R-K. That's New Testament. Okay? So the Bible, all throughout the Bible, is action. The Hebrew language is action. When they say something, they expect you to do it. Shema means to hear and do, not just hear. Hear and respond. You're responsible if you're able to respond. When the sun comes out, the plants, they respond and they rise up. And then when it goes down, they go down. They respond. Man is the only one that's given a free will to not respond. Well, after hearing this, you're responsible to respond to the commandments of the living God. And remember, Satan is lying from the very beginning. He's alive from the beginning. Thou shalt not surely die. But the prophet said, the soul that sins shall surely die. Yeshua said, if you love me, keep my commandments. If you hate me, show me. Go ahead and break them. Just go ahead and put them at naught. Set them at naught. But remember, what you sow, you reap. All nature teaches you that. You set his commandments at naught, he'll set you at naught. You're not eternally secured until you're secured into eternity. John the Baptist was the greatest among born of women. I mean, you had the whole three-fourths of the Bible full of godly men that eat, breaking bread in heaven, you know, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and all the prophets. And John the Baptist, Yeshua, was making tables. He didn't have to do anything for a while. John was wailing. He said, there hasn't been a great idiot. Nevertheless, he that is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than John. Because John's over here in jail, kind of wavering. Art thou really he that should come? Uh, look we to another. And I've seen that it's a family trait. His father wavered. Uh, how is this? I'm an old man. And he couldn't talk until a little baby was circumcised and breathing right on his lap. Okay? And so John, you don't hear another word out of him after that. He didn't, you sure sent word back to him. Said, go show John again. The dead are raised. Don't worry about getting killed. I'm raising the dead out here. The poor have the gospel preached. I'm not charging. He said, and blessed is he whosoever is not offended in me. In other words, John, you're in there for the gospel's sake. Don't be offended. I don't come spring you. That's where you are. Don't let that offend you. Hold unto the end. The same shall be saved. So if you know these things that are out of the scriptures, you sure said, happy are you if you do them. So get to know the scriptures from the beginning to end, and you'll fare well. Fare ye well. 
Come out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world. Oh